All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So, in celebration, I guess, of Madoche being on the return of Daily Duels, uh, you know, the polls are up, and there's a probably a pretty good, or at least a decent chance that uh, Madoches won't get another month. If they do, they do, then uh, I don't know. But uh, let's go out with a bang. So, we have a Madoche XC month here. So, we decided to go ahead and create a Madoche XC month. So, let's go ahead and read this. This is Madoche Eris Skullscone. Like, okay, the art's kind of promiscuous, it doesn't even look like Madoche art, like, really, like, the little strap across her breast, like, nah, nah, Konami wouldn't fly for that, like, that, there would be something around that area to cover that, she'd probably just, he ended up just being flat-chested, like, nah, nah, especially TCG Konami, that would not fly. Uh, she is an Earth, uh, Fairy XC effect monster, she is rank 3, 2100 attack, 1800 defense, so stats are decent, uh, not generic. Two level three Madoche monsters. I mean, that's easy. I mean, that's literally Kitty Cat plus Suit Cake. That doesn't literally. I said that's what it is. So, um, of course, generally Kitty Cat plus Suit Cake, as long as I have Banish, is an extremely good combo. Uh, if you guys don't know it, I guess I can go ahead and explain. So you can go Kitty Cat plus someone Suit Cake, Suit Cake, Banish, whatever monsters in Grave. I personally like mentioned Messenger Lotto. Messenger Lotto, get your cert. XC the two. Uh, the key cat and the owl into an invoker, except for invoker detach and another messenger auto because you detached off of the except for invoker. Oh, there's a Madoche in the graveyard, turn those two into uh, the two messenger draws into a tiramisu, two boys into a girl, detach, and then bam, spin back tiramisu, right? Uh, if you have Angeli, then the play is slightly different. So you go kitty cat, which sometimes I see a couple of people's Madoche decks and I only see two kitty cats, and I'm just like, but kitty cat literally opens up your play. Like, it's literally like kitty cat and jelly, or kitty cat who cake if you have a monster in there, but kitty cat and jelly and jelly tribute off of hoot cake now you have a monster in your graveyard hoot cake banish uh and jelly special summon messenger gelato get your search xc not into invoker this time but actually love air because you can grab that jelly back detach the kitty cat and then when you special when you summon the invoker unless you already have it search for chateau uh, search for chateau activate chateau as soon as you summon it right then you won't have any even don't turn much of the bear to show back. XC into Levier, detach the kitty cat, summon back the Angeli, XC that those to the messenger lotto, and then jelly into a tiramisu, to detach the Angeli, and grab back your Angeli, your kitty cat, back from Gera, back to your hand with your chateau, spin back, and bam. So not only do you have a Levier, a tiramisu that you spun back on your opponent and your fill spell, but you also got your kitty cat and your Angeli right back in your hand for the same play next turn. So power, right? But uh, no, this monster is made with two level three Madoche monsters, so Kitty Cat and uh, Huke are Angeli tribute off summon that, uh, summon the uh, the Huke. But pretty much Kitty Cat and Huke. So let's look at this effect and determine whether it's worth it because the rank threes they're not really there with Madoche. So it's generally just combo plays, whether it be Exeter Invoker or Levier. You know, there's not too much. Maybe throw in a Break Sword just in case, but. Outside of that, there's no, you know, real rank three Madoches. There is no rank three Madoches, uh, and the plays that they do are even more utilitarian than, you know, actual aggressive plays with them. So let's go ahead and look at this fact. Uh, when this card is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can add one Madoche card from your deck to your hand. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So uh, you can, it says Madoche card, you can add your ticket, you can add your Palooza, you can add your Chateau, you can uh, add monsters, so that's great, you know. So that's not too bad. Generally, it's just when you have the two level three Madoche monsters, you're kind of already set up. So I guess this is just a bonus. If this dies, you can go ahead and search like you know the other combo piece, like another Angeli or another Hoot Cake or a Kitty Cat. Or you generally don't want to search much in Jolly. You want Messenger in your head, so you want to search much in Jolly. I guess you could search for Madeline, but nah. you know, like, why do you want to search for a search if you're just gonna search? It's like what? Like okay. Uh, so that's the first fact. Uh, next effect, once per turn during either player's turn, when a monster or monsters is special summoned, you can tactic similar to from this card, shove one earth monster in your hand or field into the deck, except the summoned monster, monster. So if it's, uh, if it's an earth monster being summoned or if you're summoning the monster, you can't do that. And if you do, negate the effect of one of those summoned monsters. So a monster special summon, on on the summon, you detach an extreme material, send an earth monster, shuffle an earth monster from your hand or field to the deck, except for the monster that, that was summoned, except for the monster that was summoned, uh, if it's an earth. And then negate that monster's effect. Doesn't even say to the end of the turn, this is negate the effect of one of those summoned monsters. 
uh, it's a one of the summoned monsters. So if your opponent summons multiple monsters, you can only negate the effect of one of the summoned monsters. But it's not done. And if you do that, make your opponent shuffle up to two monsters they control and or in their hand into the deck their choice. That's that's stupid. That's literally stupid. Like this is literally like on Tiramisu dot 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 um, crack. Like, just because Tiramisu is such a boss ass bitch doesn't mean that you have to create a rank three monster of mini Tiramisu boss ass bitch. Like Sure, your opponent gets to choose it instead of you, but this also gets the hand. Of course, non-targeting, so that's great. But still, still, the effect is fairly easy to pull off. You know, it's just like you when you summon up monster monsters, just you know, uh, a special summon through probably through an inherent summon. Uh, detach C material, take a monster in my hand, put it back into the deck, and then. And I negate the, monster, the monster's effect too. And then you, they can can select that monster to shuffle back, but they're just going super negative. And of course, sending cards back to the deck is the best place to send it. Uh, Non-targeting effect negation too. So think of how I'm playing like Cosmos, all right? You summon Dark Destroyer, I'm like, all right, detach Ixia material, put some random card from my hand or field uh, that I accept the monster or something back to my deck, negate Dark Destroyer effect so he ain't popping shit. And then go ahead, uh, select two cards uh, you control in your hand and shuffle them back into your deck. Whether it be cards from your hand, which is just great, or if you really don't have any other monsters, and, and does it look like you have to confirm? Like, if your opponent doesn't have any monsters and they have to shuffle them in the field, they might lose their Dark Destroyer. And if the effect was negated, well, uh, well no, it's effects are negated. And if you do that and make your opponent shuffle deck. So if they shuffle back Dark Destroyer, then it's not in the field to be negated. No, because it went back to the deck, so it can activate its effect in the deck. So never mind. Never mind, so I guess it, they just get negated and spun back, like, mmm, it's power. Really, really, really powerful, like, ugh. Like, if Modote's got something like this, like, alright, alright. <laughs> it's a bit too much, it really is, but, uh, yeah. Uh, we actually have one person who commented on the creation of this card, so let's go ahead and read what they say. It searches upon destruction, negates, and punishes your opponent on top of that. It may be a bit much, yeah, but then again, getting two of them on the field isn't that easy with how little summoning power as an archetype has. <laughs> Pendulum of uh, hello? <laughs> like, I don't think this person is seeing Pendulum of Doge's on daily duels. Like, yeah, buddy. Uh, at least it's, you know, not, you know, not generic. At least it's two level three Mendoche monsters, so it's not like I can use my, like, lizard draws or something, but yeah, yeah. Uh, but together, when coupling with the archetype, plus it's a little more situational than Tiramisu, which you could just do on a turn you summon her. Uh, this also gives another option other than Levier, Sea Dragon, or Invoker. So yeah, she's a little bit slower than Tiramisu because you could just summon Tiramisu and do it while this, you know, monster has to be uh, summoned. But the thing is that it's once per turn during either player's turn when a monster is summoned. So uh, you can bust her out and then special summon a monster and then she will be able to go off on your opponent. And if your opponent doesn't control any monsters, then they're going to have to go ahead and shuffle monsters back from their hand. That might be interesting, you know, especially in Pendulum and Doches. Like, I can, like, summon this, summon Hoot Cake, XC into this. You know, this is, like, a, like probably, like, a shitty hand. Set up my Pendulum skills, Pendulum summon, up oh, a monster, or oh, monster, a special summon. Let me go ahead, activate my effect, detach an XC material, shuffle um, an Earth monster from my hand, include my hand, so take a monster back, put it in my deck, shuffle it back. You know, select a, a monster on my field that one of the monsters that I Pendulum summon that doesn't need their effect this turn, negate your effect. All right, and if I do, make my opponent shuffle two monsters or that. So I'm going first before my opponent has even taken their turn. I just took two cards, two monsters out of their hand, back to that shuffle before you even get to take your turn. Like, mmm, you know? So yeah, yeah, it's a little bit ridiculous. That really is. So, But overall, really great card. So if Mendoza's had that, then you would definitely be seeing a lot more of this and a little, a little bit less of uh, Levier and, uh, and Volker, because at least he has some rank 3 plays outside of just, uh, I guess I'll go into Break Sword or something. Anyway, tell me what you guys think of Madoche, Eris, Skull Scone in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. Of course, be back next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time.